Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So having a quick look at the equity markets, we've had a short-term bounce, plumbing down the lows close to 17.034 to push back above potential resistance at 17.361. Other technicals relatively neutral with the MACD just crossing the zero line right now, but the 21 period, 55 period SMA potentially providing short-term potential resistance. Um, what we're kind of really looking for now is tomorrow's FOMC. Um, most of the market's going to be probably sideways moving until then. We're seeing the US dollar kind of take a bit of a back seat again uh, with not a huge amount of activity. Equity markets are uh, off their highs of the, of the day. Um, if we have a look, we'll be looking at the UK 100 in a second. It's managed to just have a short bounce off, off its lows as well, um, but it's still quite an ugly picture. In the commodity world, we're, we've seen crude oil manage to have a little bit of a spring as well, but it doesn't feel anything more than transitory at this stage, but we'll cover that in a second. So then let's move on to the UK 100. A very, very strange candle to have here. You can just see the volatility has been down much lower and managed to go much higher and it pretty much settled bang on that, uh, bang on where, it, where it opened. This is a massive spinning top formation, uh, and we've been, we followed that up with actually another negative candle so far today. Uh, technicals, the RSI is an oversold uh, territory, but it hasn't yet had this, uh, this signal to go ahead and buy. It's not crossed the 30% uh, level, so no reversal signal as of yet, um, and we're miles away from the moving averages, so that looks quite ugly for now. 57.70 is the next potential support should the commodity sell-off continue. Looking at Japan 225, bearish engulfing pattern, uh, pattern currently. We are trading below 18.648 with 18.306 being the next potential support. Other technicals still show further room for downside and we've firmly broken any, any uptrend that was on there. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and add that on just now. Uh, you can see that we, we, we actually broke it a little time ago, but that's, that's currently where we are with the, uh, with the Japanese market. So then moving on to dollar yen, uh, dollar yen, uh, you've seen more safe haven buying on the Japanese currency uh, at the expense of the US dollar. Um, this is kind of an interesting candle formation to have yesterday as well. It had broken much lower, it actually broke below 120 spot 55, only for it to bounce, but it's kind of curving back around now. So I wouldn't be massively surprised to see us rechallenge 120 spot 55 again, the way the candle's looking at the moment. Uh, moving then on to uh, West Texas crude, uh, you can see the candle formation that we had yesterday. Uh, straight off the session, we were much more negative. At one point, it had hit um, 34.26, that is a particularly low level, only for it to hit the short-term potential resistance around about 36.43. Now, you've got a negative candle again so far this morning. Uh, it's looking a little bit top-heavy on the intraday charts as well from what I can see. Uh, and regardless of the technicals, it is massively overbought, uh, sold, sorry, uh, and we're just about to get a sig uh, reversal signal in the RSI, but that's yet to come with the slow stochastic as of yet. So let's have a look at gold. Gold has been kind of grinding a bit lower the last couple of days. Uh, so we had a bearish engulfing pattern yesterday, quite a steep drop actually, uh, and we've tried to have a, a, a rebound this morning only for it to get pushed right back down again so as you can see there it's just off the tips of those candles uh, the next potential support could be uh 1046 which is the bottom of this candle down here then followed by 1031 as we approach the fomc so euro dollar so as, as i mentioned the, the the usd has taken a little bit of a backseat again uh, and euro dollar is just grinding up a little bit higher we're trying to get above one spot 1038 we're pretty much bang on there right now uh, as one spot 11 is the next potential uh, resistance level to be aware of we are trading above both moving averages with that 55 period sma potentially adding a little bit of short-term support as well and we finish up with gbp usd um a bit of a negative day yesterday bearish engulfing pattern again um and we're off the session highs already today we could have support by a 21 period SMA, but we do have one spot 51.10 as being that next potential support level as well. So we're still firmly in this downtrend. Uh, there's a kind of, if you're, depending if you're bullish or bearish on, on GBP USD, we really need to get above this sloping trend line to get a, a decent chance of challenging one spot 54.97 or one spot 55, but it's not happening as of yet. So economic data wise, we've got UK CPI, so that could be interesting for uh, your uh, cable traders out there. We have the ZDW business report, that's a big bit of data coming from Germany. Then we have the um, CPI data from uh, the US, and that finishes up for Tuesday. And then Wednesday, we've got a whole host of PMI from market serve, Eurozone, German, uh, Germany, uh, Japan, uh, we've got UK employment data, uh, CPI from the Eurozone, industrial production from the US, 
uh, crude oil inventories. In fact, Wednesday's already shaping up to be a big day even before we get to that FOMC uh, policy rate decision. And uh, remember, if you go to support and live trader event, you can sign up to our live webinar there as well. Uh, but this is probably one of the most important FOMC sessions in uh, recent memory. So this is the this is the big one. Will they or will they not raise rates this year? You have to tune into the webinar to find out. So keep your eye on the chart form, guys. Make insights part of your layout going forward. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.